I'm not giving you ID. You get your name, date of birth? Nope. You're holding a sign that does have vulgar language. No, it doesn't. Is this a consensual Listen, conversation? You're just freedom of speech until you offend somebody. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's video was submitted by a viewer named Jason, who had purchased an RV from Camping World for about $90,000. Jason claims that the flooring was manufactured using cheap aluminum and that it buckled shortly after making the purchase. He brought the RV back to the dealership and turned it in for repairs. Between the repair costs and having to spend 30 days in different hotels while they attempted to fix the issues, Jason spent around 11 grand over the dilemma. Despite the time they held Jason's property and the exorbitant costs, the RV was returned in almost the same condition. So he decided to protest on the public right of way in front of a Camping World establishment with a sign that read, quote, Camping World f***ed me for 30 days in hotels and 11,000 to return my RV in the same condition, then called the police twice, trying to have me arrested for a felony. Unhappy with Jason's sign, several Camping World employees confront him. How about this, man? Stay out of my face. There you go. You're on my property. No, you're not. This is a public property line right here. After the brief interaction, officers Krivka and Santos of the New Braunfels Police Department arrive on scene. Huh? Santos the New Braunfels Police Department. Why are you here? I said a concern from the business. Oh yeah? They can't read? I didn't see No, they can't read? I'm pretty sure they called you because they don't like the freedom of speech. I'm not giving you ID. You get your name, date of birth? Nope. Have I done a committed a crime? Do you have probable cause? No, sir. Am I being detained? What's your sign say? Can I just ask you? Huh? Do you mind just asking what your sign says? It says they screwed? Okay, is that really what it says? Or does it say, I quote, fuck me? Nah, that's an F with a star right. and a CK. Okay. So, so sir, I could actually publish here, that on uh, TV. Okay, listen. Get the camera okay with the sign. I get that you're upset. You're frustrated with that. All right. If you want, your camera's directly on me. That's fine. But I do like talking eye to eye. If you're good with it, okay. So have you tried to talk to them and settle the whole issue? Uh huh. Okay. I made so it all is... the way to the CEO. Okay. So this is this is the thing. All right. We get a call. We get a complaint. You're holding a sign that does have vulgar language. No, it doesn't. Or, listen. It okay. doesn't. I've held this sign okay. in two states and That's three fine. counties. Listen. So now you know what it means, right? We know what it means. That so does not know. matter. Vulgarity is a legal Listen. term. Listen, I'm not here to It's a representation of vulgarity, kind of like, you know, on TV Can when I they talk? go beep. No. Is this a okay. consensual Listen. conversation? If we get further calls, okay, because now that we know what your sign says, okay. that causes a disturbance, that actually is illegal. No, so it's I'm not. Being nice work. I don't care whether you disagree or not. You, you can't, can't you can't. Disagree, okay? There's an old saying between cops that goes, you can beat the rap, but you can't beat the ride. Meaning that, guilty or innocent, the hours that you spend in jail are going to suck, and the officer decides how the rest of your day goes. The suck is further compounded by your requirement to attend court and possibly pay for legal counsel. All for something that every officer should know is legal. Officer Krivka says that if they receive further calls about the sign, that it is causing a disturbance and that makes it illegal. This could be the most un-American thing a cop has ever uttered and is a direct contradiction to the oath they swore. Offensive speech is free speech if we allow the state to govern what we can and cannot say. Based on the chance that it could hurt somebody else's feelings, the government would eventually have to ban all speech. But for some reason, law enforcement officers officers generally don't seem to agree, or as we've seen many times on the channel. Despite the constitutional protections of offensive speech having been clearly established since the founding of this country, they still insist that they can arrest you for writing naughty words that someone else doesn't like. You can't convert, you, you can't convert my freedom of speech. Okay, F. Okay, yeah. And it offends people, especially like if there's families. These are all examples. If there's, if there's kids like in that, the car, I close the sign. But you can't see. Yeah, okay? I can. I know you can't see. Uh huh. Okay? I can. Right. How many people were in that car that just passed you? I wasn't paying attention. You right. were distracting exactly. me. And when we pulled up to you, you focused on us and you weren't focused on the other cars. You're not focused on these cars passing you. You're not focused on these cars next to you. That's because you're distracting me. Right. When we pulled up to you. Okay. 
No, no, no. There was a car right there with two people in it. Just asking and I was pointing to the listen. fact that you guys are here and they called you specifically yeah. to violate my right of freedom of speech. No. Yes, it's they did. Freedom of speech until you offend somebody. Buddy. No. Yes. No, sir. Yes. No, sir. Okay. I did not. So there's the no language. vulgarity. No. Nope. Yeah. Watch the language, okay? Well, you can go f yourself. Okay. Okay. Right. So, there you go. See, okay. that's the freedom of speech. So, we're going to talk to them if you step on the property. I have not to touched their property you line. If you step on the property, we'll talk to them. If they want you to go to jail, you'll go to jail. Well, okay. you'd have to trespass me first and then give oh, me yeah, notification. Right. That's and, which is going to be talk. harassment since I never touched yeah. their property we'll line. Well, go ahead. You go talk to him, okay. big guy. All right. No problem. And what's your badge number? 283. 283. What's your badge number? Yeah. So, way, and so are you under oath here today? Anybody? Did you? No. no. no? As long as, you as didn't long take as an oath. Not in court. Okay. No, 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 no. That, when you take an Any oath. Questions? No. Oh, you can go f yourself. No problem. You're an Okay. You have a good day, sir. Yeah. Right. Goodbye, asshole. Sunscreen or anything? No. You need any water? Because I do have water in the phone. Yeah, I'll take a water if you really want to give me one. What's that? I'll take a water if you really want to give me one. Okay. Do you sure you don't want sunscreen, man? I'm positive. Okay. The proper response to a call about a man with a sign would be to tell the complainant that speech is legal in public spaces, and despite very specific time, place, and manner restrictions, law enforcement officers and other government actors are bound by constitutional limitations of their authority, meaning they can't do sh** nor should they want to do anything about it, as violating a person's negative rights with incarceration is pure evil. You come back and arrest me, we'll see if you're at, uh, your qualified immunity holds up. Okay, no problem. Yep. You gotta learn that definition first though, right? No, I know what qualified immunity... This right here is clearly established rights. Clearly established. Fortunately for the taxpayers of New Braunfels, the officers left and Jason continued his protest. Had the officers continued to allow their ego and perceived authority to cloud their judgment about a censored word, Jason would probably have a matching boat to his RV. The Camping World employees elected to park an RV at their driveway to block his sign, and obstructed the view of their customers leaving their property onto a busy road. Jason is still working on rectifying the shoddy craftsmanship he alleges Camping World provided him with. His channel will be linked below if you'd like to pay him a visit. Be sure to let him know that I sent you. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content, and remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Lackluster Limited for criminal psychology content, and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel, and get a slick Lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.